Travel back in time with a trip inside the Iowa's News Now vault. As Iowa natives David Hilmers and George Nelson prepared for their big moment, Iowans nervously waited and watched. At a cafe in Hilmers' hometown of DeWitt and at schools across the state, including Regina Elementary in Iowa City. Three, two, one, zero, and liftoff! Liftoff! Americans return to space as Discovery clears the tower. Once Discovery got off the ground, when the flight reached about the same point where Challenger exploded, the tension heightened. Discovery, go at throttle up. You could almost feel the emotional drain uh, from the people there, and I thought that uh, it just symbolized, again, uh, the pride in the realization of the significance of what everybody had done. I said, what a relief <laughs> that it's all over with, and God willing, they'll be fine from here on. After that, it seemed to be in the bag. America had returned triumphantly to space. Time to be thankful and proud. Wow! <laughs> That was really something. The nation owes you a lot. A time to look to the future. We show that the, the system does work again now, and we're ready to go. Now we can get on with the research, and I think this is a great step uh, toward getting backing for the program. Hopefully within a couple of months we'll fly again, and we'll get back to a more regular flight schedule, and we'll get on with building a permanently orbiting space station where we can do a lot of science a lot of research and development and produce uh, untold benefits for mankind. Liftoff, Americans return to space as Discovery clears the tower. Roger roll, Discovery. Reindeer touchdown. More than 400,000 people cheered the return of Discovery at Edwards Air Force Base. For many, it was emotional. It just since goosebumps up and down my spine. I thought it was the most exciting thing I've probably ever seen in my life. The crowd was smaller at Necker's Jewelry in DeWitt, but just as excited. One of their own, David Hilmers, had returned from space. I was so nervous before it was taken off. My heart was pounding. I can't imagine what they were feeling when it was taken off. Now when it's landed, they've got to be so, so happy. Very excited and very proud. Very proud to have a DeWitt boy. And I want you to remember that we should continue to dream for the future. And space should be a part of those dreams. But University of Iowa space scientist James Van Allen says NASA should change its direction. He says manned flights have captured the nation's imagination, but that unmanned flights would be more beneficial. I uh, share this excitement and consider it a significant cultural objective to fly uh, human crews in space. But I think we should... Uh, diminish the um, uh, emphasis on that in favor of the uh, types of missions which really yield much more results. NASA may eventually come around to Van Allen's way of thinking. For now, though, the success of Discovery's mission is getting all the attention. Wheel stop. Roger, wheel stop, Discovery. Welcome back. A great ending to the new beginning. This was a hero's welcome home, one where you could find people lining the streets and the rooftops. A chance to actually see astronauts David Hilmers and George Pinky Nelson was just enough to give you goosebumps. A big lump went in my throat. It was a wonderful feeling. Yellow ribbons tell the story here. A story of pride in a hometown boy who made good. The welcome home didn't end with a parade here. Central Community High School, where David Hilmers graduated from, also had a message for the astronauts. <laughs> Students literally reached out to the astronauts. A handshake was suddenly something very special. Freedom Words to songs had more meaning, too. David Hilmers told kids to strive for things, to take risks like he did in Flying Discovery. I was doing something that I believed in, that no matter what the risk, this was worth it. And I knew that all of you were behind me, and boy, what a difference that did make. Pinky Nelson talked about the fun of eating in space, drinking out of plastic containers with a straw. Sometimes you can squeeze the container and you get a, a big blob of tang and it'll come out in a ball or you can squeeze out a ball almost this big and it'll float like a big raindrop. 
in the cabin and you can blow on it and make it spin or push it around. <laughs> you put your straw in it and take a little drink out of it sometimes. In the end, the astronauts say of their shuttle mission. It was a great end to a new beginning. And that's what we did with the discovery. Really, we just started the program again. Sandy Reesbrack, Channel 2 News, DeWitt. This was another homecoming of sorts for astronaut David Hilmers. He called the Cornell campus home back in 1970. Now Cornell, like much of the country, calls Hilmers a hero. Uh, when you come from, from Houston and you're just another daddy and you're, you're uh, transporting kids to Cub Scouts and to soccer games and coaching and all that sort of thing and you're just one of the guys and you come here and, and it's kind of nice to have a little attention. Hilmers and his wife Lynn received awards from Cornell. They got a key to the city of Mount Vernon and then gave a gift in return, a Cornell pennant that actually flew aboard the shuttle Discovery. At a reception here, people wasted no time in getting to know Hilmers or getting his autograph. His wife, too, has become somewhat of a celebrity. It makes it all worthwhile to know that people care so much. And these people showed they do care. They want to know what outer space is really like. It's neat and it's different, and I think it almost feels like a second home, someplace you always want to return to. They want to know what Hilmers will remember most about his discovery flight. I think the point at which we got to orbit, uh, we made it through the ascent, and we knew that we were back in space. America was back where it should be, and we all let out a great yell that lasted about 10 seconds, and, and uh, about burst each other's ears. The landing is always the best part, when you actually touch them and know that they're back for real. That David Hilmers has already been a part of two successful space flights. Now what he'd like to do is get on a list and fly again. The next shuttle flight is scheduled for early December. There will be another one in January. Sandy Reesecraft, Channel 2 News, Mount Vernon.